Parking up the wrong tree is always a, a classic, really. Everyone should know that. Going into the wrong direction, okay, doing what you shouldn't be doing, okay. You're challenging someone, more or less, that you won't win that battle. Someone who has misperceived uh, the nature of a problem. Um, completely off course, I guess. You know, someone who is completely going the wrong track, I imagine. Ah! Parking up the wrong tree, um, well, when you've got something wrong, when you think you're convinced that something's the wrong answer. From what I know, uh, you're just going after something, uh, and it's just something you shouldn't be you shouldn't be bothering with. You're just asking the wrong person. Following the wrong path. I don't, I don't know. I think really solution based. You're looking for an answer, and you're looking in the wrong in the wrong place. But as far as where it comes from, I have no idea. Gosh, I have no idea. It's just one of those things you grow up sort of learning. No, I <laughs> think it would be probably like the dog in the hunt days, chasing an animal up a tree looking for it. I would think that the uh, metaphor is a hunting metaphor and that it would come from one's dogs uh, having squirreled the wrong tree. My brother had a dog once who was a puppy and um, thought the rabbit had climbed up the tree and he was... He ran, the rabbit ran away, and this time the dog was truly barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> the word wrong is an old Norwegian word that means the rib of a ship, made from the bent part of a tree, or if the tree wasn't bent, it was bent by hand according to need. Soon after, the word came to have a secondary meaning, that which is morally bent. And later, when the word found itself settled firmly in English, it took on yet another inflection of meaning, that which is mistaken, or awry, or off.